Controversial move in Ripon involving a piece of political history. The Little White Schoolhouse has a new home. It is still known as the birthplace of the Republican Party, but according to the state, the new location wipes it off the list for the National Register, and it also lost its National Historic Landmark status. Ollie Brantley talked to both sides today and has more on what the future could hold. Inside the walls of the Little White Schoolhouse, March 20th, 1854, according to the history books, that's when the grassroots meeting took place, forming the Republican Party. Monday morning, the schoolhouse was moved for the sixth time. The Chamber of Commerce sold the land where it once sat to the Boys and Girls Club, so the schoolhouse was moved to West Fond du Lac Street. While the Little White Schoolhouse stands, its old distinctions do not. It's still the birthplace of the Republican Party, but according to a letter from the State Historic Preservation Office, the new move isn't appropriate. And wipes the schoolhouse from the National Register and National Historic Landmarks. And that's something that has Tim Bachleitner, chair of the Fond du Lac County Republican Party, pretty upset. Today stings because individuals in this community knew that by moving the building today without permission from the National Registry was going to get us immediately deleted from the National Registry and we would lose historic national landmark status. This is not a setting that it, it deserves to, to, to be set in. According to Chamber Executive Director Mandy Kimes, they received approval by the state to move it and expected the National Register to approve. She says they were surprised to learn of the denial. Um, as to um, this process, we have done a lot of due diligence. Now they are appealing the state's decision. And we want to help rest assured everyone that the Ripon Chamber of Commerce is deeply committed to the preservation, the protection, and the promotion of this really important um, national treasure. As for the board of the Little White Schoolhouse, they tell me that this property here was donated to them. They feel it opens up opportunity for people to come here and learn. One of the things that this property gives us is it gives us a, a visitor center. It's on the main drag. Former Senator Luther Olson is on the board for the Little White Schoolhouse. What's important is not where it's at, but what happened in it. That's the thing. What happened in it was the start of the Republican Party. Bottom line here, both sides do agree that the Little White Schoolhouse is the birthplace of the Republican Party, and they feel that can't be taken away. In Ripon, Holly Brantley, Action 2 News.